M0 FXB. Welcome to my videos on the ICOM IC2820 D Star VHF, UHF, transceiver, also GPS, airband, all that kind of stuff. Now, someone asked me, does it receive DV, D Star, at the same time as receiving analog? And it does. And you'll see now if I just transmit on my handheld here, M0 FXP, you'll see that it's booming through. <laughs> so it does dual receive. You can also change the screen colour. Hit the F menu, go up and down to display, select. Go to. You've got backlight there. Select. And as you change colors, you change the slider. It does look very nice in all of the colors, but we'll leave it in green. And you've got a dimmer as well, auto dimmer. Back button here. If you hit the F button here, you start to get these different selections here. And one of them is mode look FM, AM, FM narrow. Back to DV. You do have to get your call sign in here to use DV. And you would pre I'll do separate videos, but just to show you quickly, you need your call sign there at the bottom. Okay, I'll go back. You can also select single screen. Hit the F. And there you go. There's the F. Let's see if we can switch over. Go to this main, yeah, single, and then we're on DV mode there. Back to dual. Very easy to do airband. Let's wait for someone to transmit. You just type in using the mic. You've got a button there called enter. When you press it, we're in VFO mode, enter. You just type the frequency, so one, Three, three, eight, five, zero, and there we are. We're on air band. And whilst we're listening to that, let's see if we can type in PMR. And if you're not familiar, you've got independent controls, squelch both sides, volume controls as well, channel change controls. These are both push buttons. As you can see. How clear that is. Just on, my, just on my VHF, UHF antenna in the loft. See if we can get PMR. There you are, the PMR bands. And then we got go enter the one five six marine band. Let's try nine nine nine. No. <laughs> so look at my other tutorials of using this device. It does have GPS. I'm going to press and look at the different modes. It says scope there. Let's just see if we can type a frequency in on the scope. See if anything comes up. So 145. All the zeros. It dual receives. Do the scope again. Let's move away from that a minute. There you go, there's your scope going. And then just press clear to come out of that. Let's try my local repeater. So we go enter, and it's a full DTMF microphone. 
four, three, uh, or DTMF style. I haven't actually tested the DTMF yet. That's my local repeater. No one there at the moment. Let's try this side for the GB3 Bravo Charlie. No, and it has a what they call a diversity antenna. So there's two antenna connections, and you can connect to, and whichever one is stronger, it will use. Someone just activated GB3 FI. So you've got buttons along the front. Let's just hit a couple. So if you hit that, you can start to change the frequency. If we hold it, it starts to scan. It's fast as well. I mean, that is fast, you know, for an older set. Memory right, nice and simple, just hold it. We'll do, we'll do, I'll do a dedicated video. Power, high, low, mid. Pretty sure it's 50 watts. Tone and tone squelch. If you hold it, it says DTMF. So you can uh, add some memories in there. And then plus and minus shift for your repeaters, just here. If you hold it, it basically turns off the squelch. Memory modes there. And then again, VFO scan on this side, power on this side. So if you want to do D-Star, you know, there's quite a lot to learn, but I've got my hotspot here just turned on. This is how quickly I got onto D-Star. I typed in the frequency on my hotspot, which is four. Press the enter button, which is the number, the, the C, just C there it says. Just press the end, that C button. Then start to type your frequency. You need to be in, in VFO mode. I'm just gonna press enter, four, three, three. And then zero, and then make sure you're in the right mode. So press mode, and we want DV. And as long as you're, you know, we're not trying to transmit. If your call sign's not in, you can just listen. So I can just key up my, my other handheld here on, on D-Star. And that will come up. You hear me echo there. And once I've got my call sign in there, though, then I can transmit. And people will hear me, which I'll do in a minute on a separate video. See, it's got someone else's call sign in at the moment. So yeah, what a fantastic set. Uh, we'll set up the GPS on it as well. Even though it's the older sort of version of D-Star, pretty much the, 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 the bones of it are the same. But yeah, DR mode, they've packaged it differently. But we've got the old 880 here, and that pretty much ticks the same as this device. Um, even as a dual bander, it's a great set, just as a normal, no DV. There is a quite a big module in this that does the D-Star and the GPS. So yeah, more videos to follow. Thanks for watching my videos on the ICOM E2820. 73.